So you use your phone, you take pictures with it, you take videos with it, you download music onto it, and and you want to be able to share this information or edit those pictures, let's say. You want to be able to edit those pictures on your desktop. You got to go and get a cable, hook the two up, transfer the stuff back and forth. Just a kind of a hassle, you know, a little bit of a pain in the butt. So we're going to use Think Sync Thing to take care of that for you. So if you want to edit a picture, listen to some music that's on your phone or anything like that from your desktop, Sync Thing's got it done. We'll just set one thing up, take a few minutes, and you'll be good to go next on Low Res DIY. One quick thing before we get started is this is for an Android device. If you have an iPhone, I'm sorry, Apple doesn't have Sync Thing. I'm sure they have some sort of proprietary uh, system that's in the cloud, obviously, that maybe you have to pay for. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not an Apple guy. So if you got an uh, Apple phone, sorry, this isn't for you. This is just for our Android users. So let's go ahead and hop on the phone and get this going. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the Play Store and do a search for Sync Thing. You can see I've already searched for it. Click on that and we want to install it. Alright, once it's installed we want to click Open. It's going to give you an introduction. Continue. You need to grant it permission to access your storage. And you're going to allow it click continue and then it wants permission to run in the background so we're going to grant that and uh, while using the app is what I'm going to use and then it's kind of hard to see but in the lower right corner there's a finish button so you click that and next thing it's going to ask you to uh, disable sync thing is dis disabled Do you want to change the run condition so yes I do we're going to click change and we're going to scro scroll down to respect Android battery uh, saving or whatever it's called. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to click back. Click back again. And now it's going to uh, ask you if you want to uh, utilize the Android battery optimization. And I don't want to. So turn off from sync thing. And then we want to allow it to bypass the battery optimization. Hopefully I didn't jibber jabber that up too much and here it is this is the app on your Android phone you, phone you can see it already created a, uh, a share directory for your uh, for your camera because that's I think that's what most people are going to want to use this for is for storing their pictures on their server so there you see that's already there if you click on devices there's no devices yet we need to add a device so click on the little plus up here in the right and add device and the first thing you're gonna see is device ID and it has if we click on that and allow it to use the camera you will notice it has a QR reader on it so what it's looking for is if we jump back over here on the desktop I've already logged into my sync thing uh, server we click actions and show ID and there's your QR code so you just scan it bam it's got it that quick it knows it's there let's go ahead and give it a name and I'm gonna call it sync true that way I know it's on the true NAS server and you can fart around with uh, compression and introducer and uh, pause of the device and all that we're just gonna leave it the way it is and we're gonna click on the little check mark and then we're gonna wait a few seconds jump back over onto the desktop and we're gonna close this out and we're gonna give it a little bit of time to for the phone to introduce itself to the server and there it is so we've got this guy right here so let's go ahead and add the device and I'm gonna change the device's name to Jason's phone and let's go ahead and save it okay you can see it created Jason's phone it's right there but it's not sharing anything there's nothing up here there's no folders being shared so what we need to do is we'll, so we'll jump back on our phone in our folders and then we'll click on the camera folder and if you scroll down you see right right 
there is sync true the device we connected to and it's not activated so let's just click on this and and toggle that little switch there and then give it a second again and it'll introduce the file to the server so let's just give it a few minutes and there you go so we want to go ahead and add that folder you can call it uh, whatever you want to call it let's uh yeah, we'll just leave it for camera right now and we got to make sure that goes to where we want it to save at and we set the share up in the mount and it will start syncing everything uh, back and forth so basically you're done now if that's all you wanted to save on there but let's say you wanted to save another folder well then you go back to your phone and up in the upper right corner you click on the plus sign give the folder a name whatever you want to name it let's just call it Jason's phone and then you click on directory and here are all the directories that you can sync up so let's say I want to uh, sync my music directory I'll click on that and I'll use this folder allow sync thing to access it so you click on allow and we are going the watchdog is on and we're going to share it with sync true click on the little check in the upper right corner wow that quickly it already introduced it to the server so you just click add and it's Jason's phone and uh, oh yeah that's what I named the directory so sorry forward slash MNT and then we click save and it will start syncing the uh, Jason's phone directory up. So, pretty quick, pretty easy. And if you lose your phone, you still technically have all your pictures on the server. But I think a lot of people, uh, besides just kind of having a pseudo backup of your phone information from your phone people want to take those pictures and put them on a desktop and edit them and do different little things to them so let's go ahead and pull this guy up here and out here this is our phone out here and right now it is synced up to the true NAS server so when something gets captured on the phone and the camera it syncs it to our server but we want to take and we want to sync it up to our desktop also and we're going to use the true nas server as like our link in between them so picture taken it's saved on the server server says hey desktop bro we got a new picture here here it is and copies it over to that then you can go and into that directory where you save those pictures you can open them up and you can edit them and do whatever you want now if you don't change the name of the picture your desktop's going to say, hey, server, I got me a new, uh, I, I changed the picture. It's going to change it on the server, and the server's going to say, hey, phone, we changed that picture, and it's going to change that picture on your phone. If you want to keep the original of that picture, what you're going to need to do is just give it a new name, something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create the link between the phone to the server and the server to the desktop. So if we click on camera, then we click on edit right here if we click over to sharing our server knows there's two other devices out there you can see I've got my wife's phone synced up already and then right here's my desktop if I click on my desktop and I save that and then I go down into the tray and I open up my sync thing app and give it a second here and there it is the server is reaching out and saying hey dude I got this file I want to share with you so I just click add it'll bring this up just like it has on every other device and it wants to save it in the uh, folder path down here C user Leroy uh, low res camera I, I don't want to save it there I'm just gonna change that and we're gonna put it on C colon camera we'll click yes and it'll start syncing back and forth from the server now to the desktop so if I go into my Internet Explorer or Windows Explorer I'm sorry and click C file and all of a sudden BAM there is a new folder there called camera and if we double click and go into that camera 
look at that that's everything that's on my phone so if I double, double click on that there's all the pictures that are on my phone right now under that directory so let's say I uh, double click this one let's open her up if I was to edit this file here and and who knows you know give me a nice little smiley face on my mask or something like that and I save it under the same name it's gonna say desktops gonna say server it's been saying changed servers gonna rewrite that file change it then it's gonna say hey phone it's been changed and rewrite it on your phone so if you want to edit them make sure you uh, uh, save the uh, save it under a different name that way you can keep the original so there you go sync thing on your Android device connect it up to two other devices on your home network syncing everything up and just having a grand old time so if this helped you out if you like this type of stuff do me a favor reach down and karate chop the like button and roundhouse kick the subscribe button and We'll catch you later.